Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at treehugger.com, and they have an article about a solar panel that takes water from thin air and puts it into a drinkable form. So basically, it condensates water vapor. It's called the source from zero mass water. It's a spin-off of the Arizona State University uh, business program and science program. And their device is supposedly cost about $5,000. And included in that, though, is the donation of a second device, from my understanding, to a community that needs it. They can produce between two and five liters of water per day, which might not be a lot, but that could be the difference between life and death. It also produces distilled water, which is very pure. They have a system that adds minerals to it for taste, but you shouldn't be drinking a lot of distilled water anyway. It's what's called a unstable water, and it just binds to all sorts of molecules and can actually leach minerals out of your body. So you do want to add minerals to any sort of pure water sources. But I'm going to go over to their website here. I'm linking to both pages. This is their technology page talks about the different ways and why it's important to own your own water source, the democratization of water, if you will. They believe uh, water should be owned by everyone, and just like the air you breathe is owned by everyone. A lot of countries around the world actually recognize those water rights. In America, you can hang out in any body of water you want, but you can't step on foot on someone else's land. Well, you know what? There is a lot more information here. It is a new emerging technology. There's lots of ways to extract water vapor from thin air. Fog harvesting with fabrics is perhaps the most simple. Uh, basic condensation, taking warm air and cooling it down. This seems to use a type of pressurized system using a, uh, I believe, a desiccant, which loves water. It just absorbs water, and then they use pressure and heat to extract that water out of the desiccant. Of course, there's a little shortage of details here, so I would like to see more from them. But there are some good videos and articles here, so I'm going to link to both pages in the description. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.